creating that one. We finally got some new great fall content with some good writing, interesting characters, a great dialogue system, and we are reminded of how bad the Fallout engine is, as Fault London unfortunately crashes frequently. Now, not a big an issue if you're playing on any other difficulty other than survival, but I'm a survival player. So, <laughs> a crash can easily wipe out 10, 20 minutes of progress, and uh, I believe it actually has, which was really bad. But fortunately, Stash Jellyfish 213 has determined that Buffout is compatible with Fall London. And you don't need to get any of the additional support mods. And he also recommends another mod to fix the most frequent crash, which I have not tested that other mod, but I have now installed it myself as I have gotten that crash frequently. As you can see here from my crash log. Exception, access violation. Now, there were two crashes I was not able to see in my playthrough. So those could have been completely different errors. But every error I've been able to see has been an exception, access violation. So I highly recommend getting the weapon debris crash fix. I do not know why the game will randomly crash when I've been to errors I've been to numerous times before because of this error. But it does happen frequently enough to warrant this. Now, if you want to just go follow Jellyfish's guide, links will be in the description. Links will be good for all this stuff. But if you want a more complete walkthrough and how to install all this, that's coming up now. So first, you're going to go to Nexus and download the files. Now, you could install Vortex. You do not need Vortex. Just manually download these. Click slow download and repeat the process for both these. This is not my first take, so as you can imagine, I have quite a few of these in my computer. They'll download pretty quickly. They're not very large files. Now we hop over here. I have them pre-extracted. I recommend Winmar for extractor. If you want an innate sense of superiority to your fellow man, you can buy the license. But if not, it's free forever. Now, before we go into that, we're going to want to find our game files. If you are using God Galaxy, it's really easy. Just click God Galaxy, Games, Fault London, and we're there. If you're using Steam, Steam, Let's see, Steam Apps, Common, and yes, this is my quick access. And then you could file, find the files over here. Hop back over here. All right, we're going to want to go to Data. So open this, copy this file here. I clicked the wrong file. So you want to go to Script Extender, which will be here. Open it. You can copy the plugins. You can copy all the way down, whatever level you want to. Doesn't really matter. I just like to go a few levels, layers deeper. You know, just paste. And now I already have the files installed, so. You know, it's not going to really install anything, but then fault buff out will be completely installed. And you're good. Now you hop back over. To weapon crash. Personally, I just recommend just grabbing the file. Hop back over. Plugins and then you just drop it here in the plugin section. And it'll be right there. And afterward, you hop back to the main file branch. And you're going to look for follow for SE, stands for Script Extender Loader. Oop, misclicked. Click on that. Create shortcut. Cut this. 
and now you're going to want to paste that in your desktop. And every time you load Fallout London, you're going to be loading it from that right there. And this will significantly reduce the amount of crashes you experience. I cannot vouch for the weapon debris crash fix as I have not tried the game again with it installed. So I am hopeful that will fix the issues I'm having. But I can confirm buff out was as it was with the base game, a game changer. The crashes significantly went down and at least when it does crash, I do get an error report that I can read provided the game actually properly crashed the desktop. There's been a couple, two times it is blacked out and I've had to task manager at close. So I do not know what those air reports said. But I'm just going to assume they're the same air. That's all there is to this. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Hit that like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.